What's up, HRV? I'm Sophia. And I'm Miriam. Welcome to our 219th episode of What's Up, our weekly show about what's going on at the high school. Miriam, where would you want to go if you were an exchange student? I would like to go to Brazil. Anna Southall is currently an exchange student in New Zealand. She sent us a video of how it's currently going. What's up, HRV? My name is Anna, and I am currently doing a study abroad in New Zealand. <laughs> So I currently go to Wakatipu High School, which is a public international school. So there's about, uh, I want to say 40 other international students. I'm the only one from the US though, which is kind of cool. But most kids come from Thailand or Japan or somewhere that doesn't speak English because they want to learn English. So they come to the school for a year or two to try and learn English. I have different circumstances though because I am finishing the second term and then I come back to start my senior year in September or August in this case. It's been really cool to meet these other students. I've had the pleasure of talking with them and learning about their experiences. Um, I definitely want to maybe travel somewhere where I don't speak the language, maybe a Spanish speaking country when I'm in college. So it's cool to see how they're going through it and then um, it's inspiring me to want to do something later on. One of the main reasons why I wanted to come to New Zealand was just to experience something that I've never seen before. Um, and also learn about the culture, which has been really interesting to learn about. I've also had the opportunity to do lots of different things like go wakeboarding and there was a light festival that happened last weekend that just happened, it was really cool. So I am here during the second term of the school year for New Zealand school because they start in January and then they finish in December, but instead we start in September and finish in June. So they're finishing out their second term, um, which is what I'm staying here. I'm staying with my aunt and my uncle and my cousins, um, which has been a really cool opportunity to just get to bond with them and yeah, just see parts of New Zealand. So I will be coming back in the fall to start my senior year of high school. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Currently at lunch, these are all my people. Hi, Americans. <laughs> Hi, America. One of HRV's hidden talents is the pump track. What's a pump track? Isis and Jenner will show you in this next piece. My name is Lily Sanders. I'm in 11th grade, and I started skating on the pump track in like 2020. Hi, I'm Miss Deal. Um, I teach PE and health at the high school. Uh, I started skating about, I don't like in college and I wasn't very good and I fell a lot and my knees would bleed a lot. I started skating because I noticed there wasn't a lot of girls that skated and so that just really motivated me to try a sport that no girls did and inspire other girls to do it too. Definitely because it's fun to cruise around and learn new tricks and I constantly have goals I'm trying to improve towards. Um, gnarliest crash, uh, was in college. I would find really big hills to bomb down streets and me being young and not very smart, I decided to bomb down a hill without really checking to see if cars were coming. And I pretty much almost came head on with a car and like jumped off my board while going like extremely fast um, and ended up like scabbing my whole knee up um, and it like, was so bad that I needed to wear crutches um, oh for a little bit. But yeah, so uh, that ended my downhill skating career for sure. <laughs> um, definitely want to talk about safety a little bit. Um, I know I'm sounding really motivating to like go and tackle the pump track, but one thing I do want to note is that if you've never skated before, it's probably really a good idea to, um, you know, when you're choosing which skateboards you want to ride, to try that on a flat surface for first. Plan of attack for pump tracks, you want to start high so that you can drop in. And then when you're coming in, you see these red lines. Um, the closer you can ride on the red line, the better. So you'll notice like here what we call these berms, it kind of dips down low and you have this like pocket down here. You'll kind of get stuck in here and you'll lose some speed and um, so you don't really want that. So when you're approaching, um, you kind of want to stay high so that it can feel pretty scary because, you know, 
um, your gravity's trying to pull you back. But as long as you have speed in your momentum, that when you enter in to um, like a flat section, you, you've kept your speed and you're able to pump yourself um, up and over. It's a blue Some HRV students prefer the old fashion. We talked to some kids about vintage clothes and where to find them. I'm Ella and I'm a freshman. I started thrifting about like a year ago just because it was more fun to find clothes that were like less basic I guess and more just unique. I'm Grace Riss. I'm a senior at the high school. I got into thrifting I think like probably my sophomore year when all my friends and I started going to the bins and there was like nothing else to do during COVID. So we just went to the bins and dug through basically dumpsters to just look for cool clothes. Secondhand shopping is more like people coming or bringing in clothes that they don't want or need anymore and then people coming and getting those clothes. So secondhand is like when it's been used once and then someone gives it down. Vintage is between 50 and under 100 years and then antique is anywhere past that. You can find a lot of vintage clothes at thrift stores and secondhand clothes at vintage stores, but it really just depends if you really know your stuff. Um, I think it's, first of all, really, it's a lot better for the environment than shopping and getting them from bigger companies. And it's also just a pretty fun thing to do. I love clothes, so also clothes are really expensive from like Urban Outfitters and Brandy and like all that, and also Brandy's not my style. I need a lot of like accessories and you can't just buy like $50 accessories everywhere so it's like okay vintage store and thrift stores are perfect. So it's kind of like a mix between being not having enough money and also like wanting more like more like I don't intricate I don't like different stuff. I mostly try to find some good like Carhartt jeans or vests and I also am a big fan of just long sleeves. Kind of like it depends so like last time I went I was looking for a lot of belts and like more accessories. Rings, rings. Mm -hmm. You got, you got, to, this is where you got to find the rings. Necklaces too. Um, I'd say shoes. Oh my God, Doc Martens. I find mm -hmm. so many Doc Martens. Oh. Thrifting is so sustainable. You literally can find anything that you would be able to find at a first hand store, at a thrift store. And everybody can thrift. There's clothes, so many clothes, like for everybody. Someone with the complete opposite styles could go to the same store and both find something they love. Mostly in like the bins in Portland and then also like Buffalo Exchange is also a good spot. Go to Hawthorne Street. I love Hawthorne. Hawthorne Street has like seven million thrift stores that you can go to from all different price ranges, all different styles. Um, also, there is a place like five, ten minutes away from Hawthorne. It's called um, Village Merchants. Oh my god, it is amazing. It's, everybody should go to Freshest Drab downtown. I love it. Oh my gosh, I go there probably three times a week. They get all my money. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I got this skirt from Freshest Drab actually. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with some pictures from graduation taken by Oscar and Ronan. Come back next year and we'll tell you what's up. What's up? 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 
Loving can hurt. Loving can hurt sometimes, but it's the only thing that I know. When it gets hard, you know it can get hard sometimes. It is the only thing that makes us feel alive. We keep this love in a photograph. We make these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closing, hearts are never broken, and time's forever frozen still. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans, holding me closer till our eyes meet. And you won't ever be. 